My computer's dying because I've been at this for way too long. And also my camera battery has gone through like three batteries now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you guys are new. Today's video is going to be talking about the changes that I'm making to my business going forward for the new year. In case you guys didn't know, I've been a freelance makeup artist for the last four years. The end of 2022 was the four year mark for me, so now I am going into the five year mark. I am primarily a bridal makeup artist, so all of these changes that I'm going forward with my business are more so catered to weddings and catered to my brides. Also, just a little disclaimer, if you are a beginner makeup artist, like completely new or haven't started your business or anything, please don't be intimidated by these things. I did not have any of these things set up for four years of me freelancing. So if you guys don't feel like you have everything together, don't worry about it before you launch. Like just launch your business and get it over with just so you can have experience in the field. Everything with business is super personal and everything works differently for different people. I just kind of thought this video may be a little bit more helpful for those that maybe want to amplify their business a little bit or maybe just want to cater and do more things for their brides but they can't really figure out ideas of how to do this. What I want to do with you guys for today is I wanted to revamp my whole entire website so it just looks like it's a little bit more current and I wanted to kind of like reword things and take out certain things um, just to make it a little bit more straightforward to my brides. There's a lot of stuff to cover here so just stay with me and I really hope this is not too all over the place. I'll try to edit it so it's as straightforward as possible but just know that I am experimenting with these things too and I'm kind of learning as I go so if I seem like I don't know what I'm doing I don't. A lot of people have questions about how you build your website. It's really hard for me to show you guys like how exactly I built it just because I've done so many upgrades to it and so many things. It also takes a really long time for me to figure things out sometimes because I'm not like a super techie person and I don't build websites for a living. So you're gonna more so see me redo what I already have existing. I have jmartistrymakeup.com. I did purchase my domain. A domain is basically your own .com. So you have to usually pay an annual fee for that every single year. I think mine's like $30 or something to renew my domain. Domain. And then that is on top of the actual website fee. I have WordPress. If you go onto like wordpress.com, this is what it looks like in the background. But let me go ahead and just show you guys really quickly just to kind of show you um, what the prices of WordPress are. You can have a completely free account on WordPress just to let you know, but just know that you will not be able to have your own domain. So it will be like .wixsite.com, which makes it obviously more confusing and more drawn out if you were to like say your own website to somebody in person. So that's why having your own .com is like really good. And and it just makes you look more of like a business owner. So it looks like there's four different options as far as actually WordPress websites if you choose to purchase them. Number one, you can go onto a personal plan and that one it looks like is $4 per month to get billed annually. So if I do four times 12, that would be $48 for the whole year. And then you can go onto the premium plan. This one's good for freelancers. So the premium one is $8 a month. So if I do eight times 12, and that would be $96 a year. However, I just recently upgraded to the business site on this, which gives you access to all the plugins. Usually to add things onto your site, you would have to do coding. But since I'm not a techie person and I have no idea how to code things, it's basically like an app for you inserting things. You can do like availability count calendars, you can do scheduling, and you can do like contact pages, things like that. Those are all plugins. So that's why I decided to recently upgrade to the business plan. And as you can tell, it says your plan on it. That is $25 per month. So if I say 25 times 12, then that would be $300 a year. Keep in mind that any expenses that you do have toward your business, you can write off for taxes, which you do need to spend a certain amount to offset your income. Otherwise you will get hit really hard in taxes. So don't be afraid of spending money. So I want you guys to know if you are first starting out with like a brand new website, it will seriously walk you through everything. Like you'll go into wordpress.com, you'll create an account and then it'll go through everything with you. So it'll ask you what you wanna call your site, what kind of plan you wanna go on to. It'll have you choose a theme for yourself. And this is what I mean by this. If I go into my account and say appearance, there's this option called themes. And then this is the point where you can customize any of these themes that they have. I think a lot of people think that it's really overwhelming to like create a website, but just know that you're not creating your website completely from scratch. Like you have these templates already, and then you're basically just changing the wording and the layout of these templates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just play around with what I have right now and see which font I like the best. Cause I know I definitely don't want it to be the same look that I have. I don't know, regular size. 
Let me see. Yeah, I don't like that one. So nope, that looks too electronic. Do I like that one? I don't know. I think I like that one. So I'm gonna save the changes there just so I don't lose them. Then what I'm gonna do is I wanna take out this thing completely. So I'm gonna say pages. And then this is where I created like all the different pages that are going on. And I'm gonna actually completely get rid of my blog because I don't really want it to be on my page anymore. Just so I can trash it. I'm gonna go on to welcome homepage. And then this is where you edit like all the individual pages. I think I'm gonna completely delete this one. Can I get rid of this block? Remove, okay. I'm gonna insert before so I can have another block going on. Let's see if I like that one more. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with this one. And then I'm gonna replace this. Do this one, insert. say Julie Marie artistry right here. Bridal makeup looks a natural beauty. I'm going to link it to another one of my pages. Contact me because that's what my page is called. And then here I can link this button to the page. So if they contact me, then that would be it. And I'm going to say, whoa. Um, book now on the actual button. So now if I go on to jmartistrymakeup.com, it's gonna have welcome and the new format that I want it to be in. And then that is what it looks like. Okay, so sorry this video is freaking all over the place, but I wanted to just kind of get a grip on what I was doing before I showed you guys. Again, all this is a learning experience for me. So if you guys have any questions, I am not the best person to ask about this. I seriously have no idea what I'm doing. Right now, how my um, FAQs look, if you can clearly see what the question and what the answer is, but I almost wish they were drop down like arrows almost. Um, so everything could kind of be like compact and people would be able to get to their question a lot faster. So I downloaded this plugin that's called Helpy FAQ. So now you can develop FAQ groups. So this one's going to be concentrated on booking. I'm working on the question, so when should I book and how do I book? So basically what I said is weddings are on average booked anywhere between 12 to 18 months in advance. By waiting, this can allow others to book your date first. I only take one wedding per date, so this runs on a first come, first serve basis. To book, a bridal contract must be signed and a 50% retainer must be obtained. If both are not received, your date is not secured by me. And so then on here, I'm going to say for non-weddings because I do want to kind of attract more like non-wedding clients as well. I'm going to say non-wedding appointments. Be secured with a 50% retainer. I'm going to put non-refundable retainer um, so people just know. I mean, it's on my contract, it's non-refundable, but I'm going to put that in there anyways. And then I don't usually have non-brides sign a contract or anything. I just have them put down that 50% deposit. Okay, I don't think I have any other things to add on there. Okay, I'm gonna save this one. You basically just keep adding them on, it looks like. I'm gonna copy this short code right here, which is the booking one. And then all I should have to do with this is go into pages. And then I'm gonna say bridal FAQs here. And then I'm just gonna go through and like delete this whole freaking thing because I don't even want any of this anymore. So then all I should have to do this, and then I'm gonna say short code. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste it right in there. And that's kind of the miniature coding uh, aspect of it. So then when you actually look at it on my actual website, you can see that all of these now are like drop down links. And so it looks a lot more handy. Guys, it actually worked. I'm so excited. I hadn't tried that before. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Okay, so you can also search through the FAQ if you wanted to as well. Let me go ahead and finish up the rest of the FAQ and then I'll show you guys what I got. This is how it is all set up. I really wish that I could get rid of this search bar because the search bar appears for like every single section of the FAQs, which I cannot figure out how to get rid of. I have booking, previews, wedding day and travel, and then additional artists, and then also the products used. So that is the FAQ section that I set up for myself. So now I'm on to my actual bridal pricing page. I posted not too long ago on my Instagram page what my updated pricing was going to be. And also please keep in mind that your pricing that you put yourself at is entirely location specific. So if you want to know what you should be charging as a makeup artist, ask the makeup artist in your area. Don't just go by my pricing. My bridal price currently for the basic package is 180 and that includes the preview and the wedding day. So that is going to go up to $200. So I'm going to say 200 Preview, 
plus wedding. For the luxury package, I'm going to be bumping that up to 280. And I still don't think that's high enough, but we're just gonna go with that for now. And then I have Bridesmaids and Other, and I'm gonna change that to 85. Travel. We said a Fort Wayne, but you can travel anywhere you need me to. So then I'm gonna say 30 miles, round trip included, and then a um, dollar per mile over the 30. And then I wanna change out the About Me section and Client Reviews. And I also need to update my portfolio pictures too. Gear, I can do Appearance and Customize. And then I'm gonna go on to uh, Menus. Then I want to go to main menu, and then this is the point where you can like relabel all these packages and pricing. I'm going to label as investment. Um, contact. And I'm going to put the book now right there instead of contact me, just so it sounds like a little bit more friendly. And then I'm going to save the changes. Okay, so I'm going to back out of here and go on to pages. Okay, I'm going to go on to the about me page just so you guys can see like what I'm thinking about doing here. And again, I'm so sorry if this is like all over the place, but I don't know what else to do with this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this whole freaking thing. I'm going to go into the welcome page and then just put this all in one page just so there's not like so many separate pages going on. I'm going to insert after and then I'm just going to paste it right there. I'm gonna airdrop this really quickly. Does this not work? Really? There we go, open. I'm gonna do this differently. Hold on a second. I'm gonna do media and text. Let me go ahead and just get rid of this whole thing. I decided that I didn't really want this in here anymore. Move this whole thing. Um, let me create a link to my reviews page. Okay, I'm gonna say client reviews. And then I'm also gonna add another button. I'm gonna say portfolio here, the link, and then paste it. Okay, I kinda wanna leave that how it is just because I like the way that it looks. Let me see, about me. Okay, I'm gonna completely take out like the meet the family section. I don't know if I like it being in here or not. That does add like a nice touch and everything, but I don't know if I want that on my page anymore. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the page. So on here, I have the about me and I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. But I just figured this out after I made my outro. <laughs> so I'm doing this now, but basically I figured out a way to install this app called Smash Balloon for Instagram. You link your Instagram profile to it and then you can embed the code onto a page you want it to be on. And then it basically shows like part of your Instagram profile. And I thought that was a really great way to advertise my portfolio since the majority of my portfolio is on my Instagram page. So then, ready? This is gonna look really cool for you guys. If you go onto my website now, this is what it looks like. How cool is this? So I just labeled it my past work and then it says Julie Marie Artistry and then now if I click on there then it automatically goes into my Instagram profile. It also has part of my bio on here as well. And then these are all my posts that I have from my profile. So it says follow on Instagram and then load more. And then it basically loads you know, like more of the profile and whatnot. You can click on any of the posts and it just takes you directly to Instagram. That's pretty much how this is looking. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as my portfolio instead of trying to do like individual pictures and do it that way. Cause I think this looks more like official. The next day after I filmed this, I also decided to redo the investment page, which is where all my bridal packages and pricing are. I created this little setup which I really ended up liking. I think it's really easy to read instead of just going through and reading black writing. So how I did this is I went ahead and added a block and I went to the pricing table option. This comes standard, I believe, with any of the WordPress websites. You can change the text color, you can change the background of it. I decided to change the background to a gradient. I went over to the gray color and just slid it all the way over so it was just a lighter gray, just to make it look like it went better with my website. You can delete these boxes if you want to, just have two or just have one in the row. It kind of depends whatever you'd like. So yeah, that's what I ended up doing with my bridal packages and pricing page. So yeah, in conclusion though, I thought that I would actually get a lot further, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and just leave off here and then do a part two over the other things that I'm gonna change for my business that are like not website related and just back end stuff. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry that it was really dragged out. Like I probably have hours of footage that I have to edit for this. So I'm so sorry if it seems really jumpy, but you guys were kind of just learning as I was learning. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it though. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and give me a big thumbs up as well as also subscribing down to my channel 
channel if you guys haven't already. I do upload a ton of makeup artist related content. As always, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day and I will talk to you guys in my next video. All right, bye.